You know, I'm actually really, really excited this is happening. Whereas right now we'd be able to eke out 100 ounces, we're gonna probably triple that and come out with like 300. So hopefully we'll be able to, you know, make us all a little bit of money, a little bit of gold. At California Creek, Fred Lewis has shut down his wash plant and teamed up with neighbor Brandon Clayton. Well, right now I am decommissioning Mount Vesuvius. We are moving our pay pile, what's left of it over to Brandon's plant. He's put the D9 dozer to work ripping pay in hope of running at least 9,000 yards a week through Brandon's wash plant. The Misfit team is still pretty green at mining, so I'm just double checking our cuts, making sure that we're not too deep, uh, we're taking enough, and we're not leaving anything behind. Brad. Hey, Fred. Good hey. morning, man. How's it going? <laughs> Not too bad. What's happening? Well, you guys asked us to kind of step it up uh, as far as production goes. To get bigger, be bigger equipment, right? Yeah, so I met with Brandon and just talked about what issues we were having, and it kind of dawned on us. I've got too small of equipment. Right yeah. now, he's got too big of equipment, so we decided to go at it together. I hope this will work out. You know, before we had two mining operations, and now it's one mining operation. It's a little risky, I mean, for both of us. Yeah, but I yeah, think yeah, if yeah. we work together and communicate, I think you guys will see a huge production increase from this. Because obviously, he's got the bigger capacity. But with our small equipment and with our extra yeah. guys, we could help his plant run 24 hours a day and get that high yardage and shoot for 1,800 yards a day. We will see when is the time. You have to prove yourself in a few, yeah. a few days, so. Yep. <laughs> we will be here soon and check out what you're doing. I felt like Brandon and I made a great decision, and I thought that it was uh, the best possible choice for us going forward. But now, it just seems a lot more high risk. It seems like Sandro and York are really going to expect big numbers. Teaming up with Brandon is kind of a last resort if we're going to be able you know, to really push, pull the season off. We'll finish this season. But I don't want to limp through the finish line, you know? I want to come out victorious with a gold medal. <laughs> you know, fun War, what's up? JV, uh, I got a problem, man. Blew the tire. Uh, I got a puncture in the right side. Oh. Clayton crew operator Warren Binney has blown a tire on the loader being used to feed the plant. Right yeah, there. that's it there, yeah. It's right there. That's a pretty big hole. Uh, it's either the, the shale rock that, that slid it or maybe a piece of metal in the tailings or something like that. So that's our only loader, you know what I mean? That's a, a key piece of equipment that we need to make sure that the plant's running so it's stopping us from processing the pay. If this keeps happening, then we're not going to meet our quota. It's going to be a mess. So what do you got? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, huge, yeah. man. Good deal. That looks great. JB and his new comrades must patch the tire in double quick time. And there it is. Push the tire down again so we can get that ring on. Gotcha, gotcha. It's going Man. now. Yeah, she's going now. I'm trying to expand the tire so it actually forms a seal, which we got it now. Let's get her back on the loader, and you can start washing rocks again. I think you had a holiday today. And that's on there. Hey, NASCAR does it a whole lot faster. Three hours of downtime has only intensified the pressure on Fred to prove his risky alliance can bear fruit. Yeah, you know, this took way longer than we wanted it to, but the best thing I took out of today is I'm seeing my guys work with Brandon's guys. I'm seeing fist bumps. Everyone's stressed, and this is not what we want to be doing, but we're doing it together, and that's what keeps me happy. At Mud Mountain, there's a different sort of holdup one that foreman Mitch Blaschke was happy to instigate. So in 
normally we go four days uh, between cleanups. This has only been two days here, and you see the gold already piling up in all the riffles. So it's time to do a cleanup. This is a good problem to have. So th this is just a, what, two-day run? Yeah, this is just two days. This mat here, look at that. That's just one handful. You just pick the chunks up, up off the carpet like that. And this is the stuff we've been waiting on. And uh, looks like the wait was worth it. Yeah. Well, guys, you ready for this one? Oh, yeah. A California Creek. I think it was a big gamble. A little nervous, because Sandra and York, they didn't necessarily say, I want you to team up with my other operation. <laughs> right. It's Fred's first gold way since partnering up with Brandon's crew. Hey, York, how's it going? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, Sandro. How you doing? And the claim owners are back to find out if the deal paid off. So how's it going here? I'm really glad you guys came today. Yeah. This is our first real go away together. So Fred, in the Contra, they were 35,000 yards. How many do you run at this point? We ran 6,200 6, yards. 6,200, yeah. And I guess it's an improvement of the yard that you did before. Right. We're doing 90 yards an hour still. We're just running day and night now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so more hours per day. That's right. And it's good. Yeah. Yep. But for sure, we are very curious what's the result. So yeah. Can we see some number? Do you yeah. have some number to show? Yeah. Well, we got some numbers. You guys ready? Yeah. Scale's over here. Before they joined forces, Fred and Brandon averaged a combined 19 ounces. All right, guys. Sandra, you want to call it out? Go ahead. Now, remember, guys, this is only half of ours. <laughs> so don't get too excited. OK, two, three. Oh, there's the big gun four, nugget. Four, five, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23. Wow. 25, 30. Still more. Three, 37. Holy cow. 38.66. Worth just under $70,000. More than double the amount both crews were getting before. Fred's half share of 19.33 ounces is his biggest ever gold haul. That's pretty good for you as well, yeah, right? I'm, I'm happy with that, yeah. What about you guys? If you keep going like that, yeah, every five days, yeah. Yeah, and I believe if we get everything dialed in, we'll be doing better than this. I think this is the this is just beginning, I yep. think. I mean, if it, Already if, you double your production, yeah. I, I can't say that it's bad. Right. Now, if you double again, it's even better, right? So yeah, it looks, uh, your idea was okay. Just sharing and getting together with Brandon, we were a little bit skeptical, but yeah, if you do it like in this way, it's good. All right, guys, well, I think we should get him back to work, huh? Yeah, I think we go back, start hauling, and keep washing. Keep going. Sounds good. 